Today we're going to take a deep dive into how to put an image into text. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you five different methods. So we're going to start off with letter frames, which at this point in Canva is kind of old school and it doesn't give you many options. So what I want to do is head over to elements. I want to scroll down to frames and I'm going to see all. I'm going to scroll down again and go into letters. We're going to use the same photo for all of our uh, image things so we can kind of compare and contrast. So I'm going to get a couple of letters. Let's M U. So let's do M U. Let's pick one more out and Mun. I don't even know. I'm not even trying to spell anything. So what I want to do here is I want to reduce these down that grabbed all that. So with the letter frame, so I'm going to need a copy of this photo for each one. So I'm going to put three copies and then I want to put them in each frame. And now I have to go and I have to adjust them all to a match up. So let's say I want to take it here to here. And then I want that here. So now I have to go to the next one and I have to do the same thing because if you don't, you got to line these up. So I'm going to have to make that to here, to here. And then I'm going to have to figure it out and line it up over the other one for it to match. And same with this one. You're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to line it up. And that is the one biggest problem with these is you have to kind of line all your pictures up. And get that good lined to make it look even all the way through. See that one's a little too high compared to... And it becomes cumbersome. So that is letter frames and you don't have a lot of fonts to choose from. But it's an option. It's good if you're going to use just one letter. It's great for that. But otherwise if you get a lot of text it's not a great option. Option number two. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to apps and we're going to try an app called font frame. So I'm going to enter that in there. I'm going to pull that up. So what I can do now is I can choose a file from my computer or image that I have on my screen. So I'm going to choose select this image here. I am going to put my name shell and then uh, what I can do here to change where it's at inside of here I can drag it up I can drag it down if I need another part and I need it highlighted and bigger say I want that palm tree or something like that there I can scale it to make it bigger and those kind of things there and I can take it back down and I can go and have like I want that sunset in there the other thing you can do is go in here and go to settings. You can change your font. There's tons of fonts to choose from in here. Way more than you can do with just the frames. So we're going to go back into here and you go back into settings. You can change that. If you have multiple words, you have your alignment outline if you want one you can have one if you don't want one you can just take it all the way down and there's no outline you can also change the outline color to like say red which is does not look good with that which i prefer most of the time is not to have an outline at all uh, if you have a bunch of you can space out your letters the only problem is is like if you see you got to scroll up and down to see stuff don't like that a little bit because you got to do that to kind of figure out what's going on. And then if you have multiple lines, you have line spacing. So that's what you can do in there. That's a little too tight. Let's bring that back yet. And then uh, what I can do is add it to the design. And I uh, will get rid of this right here. So now that I've added it to the design, I can also go into edit afterwards. And if I want to put shadows or something on it, I can put a drop shadow on it, tighten it up and give it a little punch. And that is font frame. So the next option is another app. 
So what we're going to do is go into our apps and we're going to put type cut out. We're going to enter and then we're going to open this app. So we're going to, we'll just leave the good vibes here for this one. And what I want to do next is go and pick out my font. You can pick out, there's tons, 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 tons of font. So we're just going to go, oh, let's do the big shot. And then you're going to go hit this little back button and that gives you your font. Uh, you can go and do your alignment. It's like the other one. You got to kind of scroll down to go look at it, but you can get your alignment. We're just going to leave it there and your line height. So if, say that looks a little too close for me. I'm going to sit there and space it out just a little bit more. Now, the difference between this one and the other ones is you, your image needs to be uploaded from your computer. You can't just click on this and choose the file. It doesn't do that. It, you're going to have to get it from your personal files. So if you're using something out of Canva or created in Canva, you're going to have to make a PNG and use that file. So I'm going to choose one. I did this file already. I'm going to open that up. And I can get rid of this one because it's not going to use that. So now I can look and see that my photo is in there. And I'm going to push start edit. So with this, you can move it up, down. Be careful because if you move it too far over, this is going to be empty. So what you want to do is move it around. If you need a different part, you can scale it bigger. So you can go and say, I just want the little bit of the sunset and the waves. You can rotate it sideways to make it kind of groovy. And like I said, you can take the scale up and down to fill that in as you want it. And you can finish editing and then add it to the design. So I can add this to the design. Now that it's edited, I mean added, I can go in here like the others. I can add a drop shadow and make it cool and groovy. If I need an outline, the, this one doesn't have an outline, so but you can still go into your shadows and you can make an outline if you want that and do all the good little outliney stuff. Something like that is pretty cool. So if you use the backdrop. And that would be your type cutout. So the next one is a hit or miss kind of thing, but it still works and it's kind of cool. So it's another app. So we'll go into our apps. We'll go up here and put in T-E-X-T -E Maker. Now, a lot of us use this for text because it has a lot of cool designs. But did you know you can make a frame out of some of these? So what I'm going to do is I want to do it in something. Let's do this Ninja. So what I want to do with Ninja is you're going to go through and do all the things you want to do here. You can change your font change your text. We'll just stick with my name. So, and of course your, how you want your line spacing, letter spacing, alignment. And the new thing that I've seen, if you go over into effects and you scroll over just a little bit at the very end, they have this thing called filling. So we're going to click on that. You can go over here and put image. Enable image texture. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to use the selected image. And now if you look, my image is inside of this text. Some of them are good. Some of them are not so good. So you want something that has like, like that had the thick part where it can take it out. So if you look and I add this to my design, it looks like a sticker. It is a cool sticker. And then if I wanted to go over and edit it, I like my shadows. I put shadows on everything. I can add a drop shadow to it and it really looks like a shadow. Maybe if I do the angle, that's too much angle. Let me get that rotation. Ooh. But, and then I take the intensity down, but that is another cool option that you can use with, oh, let's try another effect. So let's go, we're filling, um, let's see if we can go into presets and try, try another one real quick. So I would use something like this 
for those and be careful about like ones like these or something let's try flames and see what it looks like um so let's go over here filling image so i want to choose this file select the image you select an image see nothing comes up on that one you can't you can't see anything from that so even though i chose the image it just doesn't show so we'll go back into the presets if you use something more like i said like that or let's try this breach one and see what works let's go here and try it so you you can go around and tech uh test those images to see if that would work oh that looks cool that looks cool so just go around and see which which effects you can work on with and then i'm going to add that to the design let's see what that one looks like pretty cool and now you have that awesome awesome extra way to do it gives it a little pizzazz if you know what i mean and a nice little secret hidden in the text maker So for the last trick, you can do this with kind of like elements also, is making a text mask. So what a mask is, so I'm going to need a blank design. I'm going to go into text. I'm going to add a heading and I'm going to put my name or stick it with my name. You can also do this for elements. So let's say I'm going to, I want something thick. Hold on. Give me my text back. I want something thick so i'm gonna do horizon and what i want to do is i'm gonna just grab a heart uh let's just do a heart like that okay now we're gonna make that uh black and then what, what you want to do is you want to go into elements again. You want to grab a square. Oops, let's grab square. Grab square. Put it as a contrasting color. Position layers behind. And then we're going to change this to white. This to white, and what we're going to do next is we're going to go to File, Download, PNG. I want my current page done. Download. Then I'm going to come over to the where I want my photo. I'm going to bring it back into Canva. Maybe I'll bring it back into Canva. I'm going to remove the background. And then all you're going to do is put it over where you want it in your photo. Like so. And then I'm going to trim this off here trim this off here and that's another way you can do it and I can go in here and go in here and do a tone this white white let me go in a position and grab a little bit more of that picture and move it up and then I can do that and then I can go I can file download PNG current page done download let's bring it in on a new page here I'm gonna upload it back into here remove the background get rid of some of that space like so now it's got my photo in it and then I can also go here and do shadows like a drop shadow and of course 
not that much distance, pull that in. And take the intensity, take the blur in or out. And uh, there you go. And that's how you do that. So with the masking method, you can also do shapes uh, or anything like that and make a mask out of a shape. Just like I did the heart, you can do a silhouette or something like that and do the same thing and then put a picture in there. And, and that is five ways you can get an image into text in Canva. So I hope you learned a little something today. I learned a little something today. We all learned a little something today. And I just want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any questions or find any more tips or tricks, please leave them down in the comments. And please come by and stop by and see me again. I love you guys. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.